All right, guys. What are we up to today? Stay tuned. We'll find out right after this. I think spring is here. That coat had to come off. So I'm down to uh, just my merino base layer up top here, but I just want to show you something. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. They look just like it, eh? But all kinds of rabbit droppings and urine here. I've never seen a place so polluted with small game. Rabbit and, well it's not really rabbit, varying hair, snowshoe hair, I guess whatever, but uh, yeah, lots of different uh, birds and stuff, grouse and ptarmigan. So, yeah, happy uh, Friday the 13th, I guess. I don't really think about those sorts of things, so, yeah, got a new, uh, new to me, 3030 to try out here. It's a Marlin uh, Model 30 AS. So I'm going to go sight her in and see what else we get up to. There's no way I'm going to pass that up. Even with the poke on. That'll get the fire going today. Sweet. <clears throat> Gonna like that. I think we found our spot for today. So I've got a good backstop for my little range. I can get a little windbreak in here. Got lots of firewood. Just make sure those aren't tamaracks though. That's a tricky one sometimes. Oh, they're spruce, some of them. Down the back corner. Yeah, well, let's get things going. Check that out. That's off a fair bit considering I was only shooting from halfway down this little trail I beat in here. So my first three shots didn't even touch the paper. So I figured I'd tighten it up a little bit and see where they were hitting. And she's shooting way left. So we'll take care of that and we'll try again. 
So, we're going to assume that's our safe direction. They're all pretty safe except for the trail behind us, but for intents and purposes, we'll call this downrange. Make sure there's no loose guys in there. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. And I know some of you guys are going to freak out and see this, but this is how I was taught. No obstructions in the barrel. And it's on safe and it's half cocked. So, my gun is shooting a little to the left. So to bring it right, well to bring it any which way, moving the rear sight. So if I want to move my point of impact to the right, I'm going to move my rear sight to the right. And I kind of knew this coming in here, this is why I made a day of it. But the front blade on this was cranked way over to one side, so just to see what I'm working with, I centered the, uh, the blade on the front, and now I'm going to tap this guy over. So, I was looking around for a little brass hammer this week, and last week, and I couldn't find one. And you guys are going to cringe. So I've got my axe. It's not what I'm hitting my gun with. Got brass drift. So, this is extremely dirty. Don't recommend anybody does this, but for the little bit that it's going to take, I'm just going to make sure that the drift is on here. I'm going to put my thumb next to it so I can feel how much it moves at all. You're going to want eye protection. Don't be stupid like some of us. And even just now, yeah, so that notch is almost in sight, in line with the uh, the screws on the receiver. We're going to put a scope on it. Just a wee bit more. And I'm glad I used fluid film on my gun. So that's beading up just like water on a duck's back. There we go. And my dovetail, I've got just about the same gap on each side now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send three more rounds down range here to see how it works. See you guys in a minute. Alright, so that was a little better. So our first group here was before I moved the site over. The second group and I moved back a little bit, I'm a little higher up, but I'll mess around with that on the ramp later. I've got one that's almost perfect vertical. One's over, and I definitely think I flinched a little bit on that one. As soon as I let that one go, I knew I didn't have a good shot. But I'm going to say it's going to put my group around here somewhere. And that's the end of that ammo. I've got a different box of ammo now, so I just put a fresh target out. I'm going to get an idea where that's hitting first, and then we'll just go through the same steps all over again. So... Safety's off.
Alright, so my primary mission for today is complete. So with the other ammo, the first three rounds, there was a group of boaters wise as my thumb and two of them. Uh, I was going to call it overlapping, but they're touching each other. They're not overlapping. So I drifted my sight over again about the same amount as I did because I went from about this far out to about here. And that's just from where one round blew a piece of tree through it. But anyways, uh, and just for giggles, I put my notch down to the lowest one. They were pretty close. But uh, I've got two overlapping here, about a little less than the width of my thumb. And one over here from a three-shot group that's about two and a quarter inches up from the bull. So I'm guessing, you know, have to see how that translates, I guess. But uh, if I can get a hundred yard shot and have it about an inch high, I'll be happy. Well, you know what? That was fun. But I'm feeling like some coffee and some beans now, so let's get some lunch going. I must have sounded a little awkward. I busted a rib here like, I don't know, a week and a half ago now. So my chopping skills aren't exactly up to par, but that was on the cross country skis, so. Yeah. Don't break your ribs. It's like the fourth time I've done it. Although this wasn't the worst time, so. Yeah, take care of your body. You only got one.
dandy of a day too. Couldn't ask for nicer weather. It's supposed to get up to uh, above freezing this weekend, which is going to be crazy. I guess that means it's officially spring. Unofficially. The calendar says it is, but yeah. Move some stuff around. Get that out. Remember that birch bark we got earlier? That's going to be going right in here. Elbow can break your own ribs, eh? I don't know if I got a tough elbow or a weak rib cage or flip up. Not a big fan. Alright, ferro rod, that will make a pot stand. A new saw too that I've been trying out. It's just one of those Fiskars ones, but it doesn't seem too bad. It's not a, uh, a silky saw, but it's also not a silky saw. Let's see if it'll. Oh yeah, it'll throw sparks. So I need to keep this cord out of the way. Knife had though. Let's change the angle a bit. There we go. So we got fire. We need a pot stand, right? on the pot end of things. We'll see. Chucking some heat. Two cuts like that. And I'll see why in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> 
two V notches. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> so, here's where a pot's going to be hanging off of. We've got two of these. What they were going to do. they're gonna do is just hold this over the fire especially once there's some weight on there that'll work great cool all right well I'm gonna get some coffee going here Mind the wind noise too much, but this is camp so far. Got our pot on the oil here, melting some snow. I gotta say, for 26 bucks a Canadian tire, I'm definitely not unimpressed by it. It seems pretty good so far. Yeah, I always like my Fisker Zacks. I know it's not super high budget or anything, but it definitely always gets the job done. So there's our pot stand and the rest of our stuff. Of course, everything's all fetched up here. Yeah, so this is the Mossberg, not the Mossberg. That's at home. This is the uh, the Marlin. The only thing I've been finding, though, is that the screw for the lever keeps coming loose. I brought a screwdriver, because it probably should, especially if you don't know the gun yet. According to the serial number, it's from 1989. It's a Model 30 AS, which is kind of the budget model, but I like it. I think it's just birch furniture on it, but... Uh, it does the trick, we'll put it that way. Uh, I could use a bigger toboggan, I think. Yeah. The range was just down there. Firewood's over there. At least it was. And now we wait. Keep tending to this for now. Take these things off. But it's so nasty around camp that I'm just keeping them on for going running, doing errands and stuff here. So I'll need a stick. One stick. As long as I don't melt the skis. That's definitely a warm little fire. Over the 
some coffee. Be ready in Now we'll get the pot off of there. Then we can chuck lunch up there. Which I'm pretty stoked about. Dirty coffee. That's all right, though. Use the first time. Although most of the dirt is in the bottom. Just enough. I'll go grab our main course. Nice thing with the skis is they do make a nice little table too for a lot of stuff. Pretty handy that way. This is one of my favorite can openers too. The old Victorinox Swiss Army knives, the ones that don't have the combo tool. Yeah, that's my sportsman. It's the best can opener ever. Hopefully that's cool. Touch it in. You know the beans are cold when. Too, I'd be picking this can off too. But 30 30 is a little over a buck a shot for the stuff I've got, so I don't think I'll make it into a plinker often. I'm sure I'll do some target shooting with it sometimes. All right, get these beans up here. I might put them up a little higher than I had the water though, because that boiled pretty darn quick. There's some heat there. Well, you can tell it's getting warm when the skis are starting to snowballs under them. Alright, let's try this coffee while we're sitting here waiting. Oh, that's definitely edible. Mmm, that's good. I always find to rush these things a little bit though when you're trying to make videos. I'd probably pick a little bit better campsite normally or play the wind a little better or this and that. Whatever. Still enjoying it. Yeah, I can't see myself ever going back to snowshoes now after having had these. I say that. They are freezing to the ground. The skin's on them being a little wet. They'll cool off though. Get back in the snow as long as they don't ice up. Mm. 
coming over, and that's always a good sign. Hmm, a little longer. Well, it definitely turned out to be a nice day. Didn't complain about that one bit. Some skis are melting. We'll be all set. Haven't seen anything for critters though, except squirrels. Well, that's alright though. I know they're out there. Yeah, I got editing software now that I gotta figure out. But I still think I need a camera. I wouldn't mind something like a GoPro-ish sort of style camera. Maybe a fisheye lens on it. it. Isn't such a bad thing because if it's up close, then I'm not even sure if I'm in the frame half the time if I'm over here by myself. And I'm on a bit of a timeline today. You can't just go back and check my shots and if it's not good, go and do it again. Oh well. Just figured I'd take you guys back in the bush. It's been a while, huh? Uh, I know we've done some little stuff here and there, and this is only little too, but we haven't done like a proper trip. We went overnight to the wall tent there the other night. Uh, it was that Tuesday night, but uh, yeah, I took some video of the first half, but it wasn't working, so I'm going to have to start planning things a little better. But that's okay. I'm lying to you, I did see some critters today, other than the squirrels, I saw whiskey jacks. They're cute little guys. Whew, man, that's hot. Oh man. So, best beans in the world. Bushes. You gotta try them. Man, oh man. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give them like a 30 something. They're so good. That is as warm as that's ever going to need to be. Man. Of course, I stand up and turn myself into a chimney here. Yeah. Good old softwood, too. That's great. All right. Burn that sucker now. Alright, so I got beans, I got a coffee. Life is good, eh? Hmm. I thank God for giving me this can of beans, too. Definitely love them. Oh, they're good. Just perfect temperature to drink now, too. Yep. Can't beat it, eh? Well, I'm just doing my dishes here, boiling some more snow, and get all those bean juices cleaned up out of there, but. I don't think I've showed you guys this since the episode I made it. My TAC. Get my shadow over here. But yeah, I ended up uh, wood burning a little bit. I got a funny feeling that's not in focus, is it? It's hard to tell in the sunlight here. But yeah, so I just got some some little spruce trees like we got up here and just did that. Okay, so fire's out. I'm going to grab my tea before we go. Cart's loaded up. 
I got my empty brass and my bean can up in the front to put in the garbage when I get home. And then I'm out of here. Got the marlin loaded up just in case I see a rabbit or something on the way out now that I know where it hits. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming along. That was kind of just a little small episode, but whatever. I still enjoy getting out in the bush. So, until next time, you guys, take care, and we'll see you again from the Northwest Territories.